So when you did get hired with The View, yeah. is it a contract of, do they pay in the format of one episode? Is it a six-month contract? Is it a three-month contract? What's the con agreement? Um, so I'm trying to remember my contract. I basically had a three-year contract, but at the end of each year, they had the opportunity, they had to renew me. Got it. So, um, and there, you had a guarantee of a certain number of appearances. I wasn't employed at ABC at large, I was employed by The View. Me personally, Megan may have had a different deal. She How might different have been. is that? Is that separate? Is, is yeah, because if you're, it's actually much safer to be employed by ABC at large because then if something goes wrong with The View, you can be utilized. That makes sense. By it's other a larger shows. corporation. I, I didn't fight yeah. for that because at the time, frankly, I don't think I had the credentials to fight for that. And secondly. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So I was comfortable with the contract they gave me and rolling in. And was and it seeing, decent pay? Was it? A, yes. Okay, so the it pay was. was, it, was a, it was a raise, which was great. Yeah, I the was smile like, Yay! says it says a story. It was, That's it good. Was a Are raise. you still in touch with any of the ladies on the View? Whether yeah. it's the conservatives, the Abby Huntsmans, the uh, McCains, the the Joy Behar's, the Whoopies. I was um, until this appearance that just happened. I mean, I, I actually maintained a, a pretty, you know, decent friendship, um, with Sonny, with Sarah, mm -hmm. occasionally would exchange with Whoopi and Joy. Um, I, my time on the show was actually okay because even though we duked it out sometimes on air, we actually really got along behind the scenes as mm -hmm. a group. It was a cast that really liked each other. Yeah. So I left and even though I was fired, um, inexplicably, overnight. <laughs> um, I didn't hold that against the cast. And there were people that worked there at the time that aren't there anymore that were responsible for that. Um, but I left kind of feeling like these were still my friends and my family and I was sad. So I didn't trash them in media. I didn't mm -hmm. do any of that. And it wasn't really until this last appearance that I just felt like, wow, that was pretty horrible what happened on air. Because you guys knew what I was going to say, and I, I, I really thought I was there to have a conversation because I know them. You know, Sonny was at my wedding. You know, I know yeah. these people, yeah. and I said, if you're going to invite me and you know what I'm going to say, either say, forget it, but you're not coming on, no, or let me talk. Let's have the conversation. Who's the biggest advertiser for The View? Do you know? Like, who? I don't know, but I know. You know, big farmers in I, that's all these places, farm. of course. Yeah. So, yeah. But, but can you Google and see who's the biggest uh, advertiser on, on The View? I looked it up in 2015, a bunch of advertisers dropped, but that's not the article I'm looking for. I want as recent as possible. Let me go back to it. From the day you got fired, mm -hmm. how many days prior to that was when you questioned Hillary Clinton? Oh, I think it was four. I think I questioned her on a Thursday and lost my job on a Sunday. Oh, I didn't know that. So, so yeah. four days after you... You questioned Hillary yeah. Clinton. So what happened there was, and I've, I've spoken about this with, um, you know, Sonny recently, that we were like, no one really understood what happened there. And I don't know if it's attributed to the Hillary Clinton interview. I really don't. I have no idea. What year was, was this? Twenty Was it 16, 17? It's right around there. She was um, still running, running for president yes. or after she lost? No, no, she was, it was after she lost. After she it lost, after she, she wrote lost. a book called right. What Happened. It was the mm. first live appearance she did on The View, on the and view. she yeah. asked a question. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw that. Which yeah, was I a asked the question. question. Yeah. I, had, I had just re-upped, like, that summer. You know, you had to, like I said, they had to renew you. Even though you had a three-year contract, they had to renew you. So I signed the paperwork. I was like, okay, I guess I'm in for another year. And that's the way I view this business. You never know. You could be out tomorrow, you know. So I was like, okay, in for another year. I asked what I thought was a pretty benign question. I asked her, I said, listen, you know, you're saying, you're acting like you're surprised that Trump won, but it sounds a little tone deaf to me because I was talking to people around the country who were disgusted with a lot of what was going on. Like looking back, do, do you see that maybe these people voted because they, they didn't like what was happening in the prior administration? I thought that was a pretty fair question. Her face said otherwise. I didn't even get to ask, ask about her emails, which was really what I was. There was a little bit of panic at the show that day because I was like, well, can we show here that she signed a piece of paper that said she knows what these classifications mean and she's denied that she knew them, but her signature. And they were like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. There was a little bit of worry that it was going to be combative. But don't I, they like that? Is that like the whole no, point I of think, the view? They want I to see controversy? No, yeah. I think the perception is that. But actually, I think there's a lot of protection that goes on on shows like that for political figures, for point of views. So I didn't get to that. But I, I asked the tone deaf question. And then four days later, I actually got a call from someone who worked in media. I think I think it was Oliver Darcy, actually, if I'm not mistaken, who wrote who called me and was like, there's a rumor that like Megan McCain's taking your job. And I was like, Oh, well, that can't be. I just, I was like, what? 
And I wrote my producer and he was like, oh, we'll get on it. PR. I don't even think the EP of the show knew. No one knew. The oh, EP so of the so show. So this came from the high This came from super high. This is not EP. No. Okay. And my EPs like Candy and Brian were like really quite nice to me and were like, listen, I don't know. And I believed them. And I still believe them because they're, I, I really do. Um, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's related to that. I don't know if that was the icing on the cake. I don't know if there were talks going on and then suddenly someone decided, oh, great. And also that interview didn't help. I don't really know. It's did, just the timing seemed so odd so to me. So when, when did you sign the next year? What, did, how it was m- in the summer. Summer. I, how many like weeks or months before the Hillary Clinton? Uh, 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 it was in August. I don't remember. It was several weeks before that. Oh, I had. so so this is fresh. So you sign. It's not like it's six months. No, it's like no, several no. Weeks. It was several weeks. Got it. So they had already committed to having you on for another year. Yeah. So it wasn't like behind closed doors that we're mm-hmm. talking to Megan on. Oh, wait, listen. I maybe for okay. all I know. I mean, there are people that have since <clears> been fired from there that were doing pretty horrible things. That's come out in the news. Um, who I think probably were being underhanded about it in many ways. I don't know. I don't know what conversations were and weren't going on. I just, it, it, it kind of changed my perception of media because I always felt like a contract was a contract. Yeah. And all of a sudden I realized, which was helpful for the future, like, yeah. okay, you're here today. You could be gone tomorrow. So well, just some, keep that in mind. <laughs> some people would say, just be happy you're sitting here because maybe mm-hmm. you pissed off the wrong person, you know, because yeah. There's certain people in politics you don't piss off because they have a reputation, you know? That's right. And that reputation is a multidimensional type <laughs> of a reputation, if you know what I'm talking about. I By piss the way, everyone off, so yeah. I'm in bad shape. Maybe I'll come work here, but, you know? But, but, <laughs> but, but we would love Let's you here. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.